Hello everyone and thank you for joining me in the new video about the once human, right? So in today's video guys, we will talk about weapons and uh, I will just show you everything about the weapons what you can do with them, how to make builds and how to fix them and whatever, you know what I mean, everything about the weapons So first thing, of course you need to have the workbench, right? And if you go on the memetics page So when we go here to crafting it's all here guys, so synthesis bench, intermediate tools and intermediate gear workbench, right? So first you will start with this one, then gear workbench, and then you need to just replace the old one for the new ones, right? And in the last row it's gonna be advanced synthesis, advanced tools and advanced gear workbench. But for now we will talk about just the gear workbench, this is advanced one of course. Now you see here we have craft weapon, craft armor, repair and calibrate, right? But I will not enter into all of this right now, but I will enter my inventory, go to gear, right? So now as you can see my build is here, so I have this Predator LMG, light machine gun, sniper, this button, and uh, if I click here I have this legendary again, soccer, the last valor, assault rifle. And the actual two best weapons for now are these ones guys, with these two I'm doing everything, I'm killing bosses, I'm doing absolutely everything, right? So now let me see, first I will open this one, right? So. MG4 Predator light machine gun rapid fire style, right? So it's tier 5 and it's calibrated to the max, so all, all up to the 10. And now let me show you. So this is actually light machine gun rapid style and weapon features first to show you all this. So it's 40% chance to trigger fast gunner and the fast gunner of course increase fire rate and damage, right? That's what you want with this gun. Then here when the fast gunner stacks reach a multiple of 5 gain infinite ammo, right? 0 0.5 seconds, that's not much, but it's actually is. Then hitting the same target consecutively grants weapon damage 2% with each hit up to 40, you know what I mean, when the target is changed. When the remaining bullets is more than 50 of the magazine capacity attack plus 40, you know what I mean. So this is for this gun uh, is excellent. And then calibration, it's again rapid short style, you know what I mean, fire rate plus 5% accuracy going down, but doesn't matter. And fire rate plus 5 after continuous fire, you know what I mean? So as long as I'm firing, the gun is firing more and more quickly, you know what I mean? And I added this, was here, so weapon damage 6.5 out of this, so not bad. And crit rate 5.7 out of this, so again, could be much, could be a little bit better, but it's okay. And then dealing power surge, guns power surge, based on weapon trigger chance, right? So these two, so fast gunner for this weapon, guys, and then you want rapid shot or maybe something else, but... This is with what I go. And uh, then the other thing, when you click, right click here, you add mods, you can add, add one mod to the weapon, you can level this mod up to level 5 with credits and these. And I actually now need to just level it one more time, so 20,300, so let's do that, status damage magazine capacity, I took this one just because of this, because you want to get the magazine capacity as high as you can on this weapon of course, right? So 10%, very good. Damage again, grace one against normal enemies and status damage. So it's all good, you know what I mean with this. So that's, that's you can see here. And then the next thing, accessories guys. So all these, you need to find by going through the world and solving the riddles, you know what I mean? There's a lot of uh, riddles in the world and that's how you run these. We will talk about that in another video. So I unlocked all what I can of course. And then you just uh, add what you want the best. So this is what I have on this gun. Here you can change the ammunition, right? So tungsten, whatever you want, you just change it here and then it will fire dead bullets. So that's my setup for this gun. So muzzle, this one, hammer compensator, optic, this one, aiming speed stability, tactical cobra grip. Because it's better than the legendary ones, you need, you see what I mean? So accuracy. And this one is only stability, but then accuracy is going down. So that's why I'm using this one, Cobra Grip, right? And magazine, of course, again better than this one, because this is giving me 20 more bullets, but this is giving me, look how, you know what I mean, accuracy and reload speed with this other one, that's why I'm using this one. And uh, now, how to do all this, right? When you go to the bench, if you press J, calibrate, right? Here you can calibrate weapons with with these, like resources, right, what you can find in the world again. So now, because I maxed it out, this one, but this is how you can do it. So it's gonna be three, and then you just use the resources to max that out, right? And then with this button here, replace calibra calibration attributes, right? If I click here, 
then this is how you add actually what you want to have on that gun but again you need to find those blueprints in the world killing bosses and dismantling the legendary weapons that you don't want then you will get the blueprints that you can add to other guns like this one now i have three i can change let's say this now for this if i want or this one crit damage crit rate stabilized yeah this is actually for the sniper more than for this one and then yeah so i can change let's say for this if i want but i don't want because it maxed maxed one maxed out this one but this is how you add how you replace attributes guys you need to find blueprints and then just add them to weapon what you want and fuse them but it's gonna cost again 500 stardust source so it's not cheap to do this you know what i mean but this is how you add because this one let's say have the normal attributes you see i didn't do anything with the sniper because i want the legendary sniper of course not the purple one right so this one is now have the normal his uh, attributes right for this gun if i want to change now i can add this one now here to this sniper right and it will change these three then to these three and then you can put this up to plus 10 and it's gonna be very good you know what i mean like i did with this one so that's the first thing right calibration with resources you can replace attributes with the blueprints that you find and replace uh, i mean when you dismantle weapons right so that's the first thing then the other thing of course is when you go to craft weapons with an f this is where you craft all the weapons guys right so if i now go where is that gun so it's here so uh, not the rifle but that's the other legendary but in LMG, so that's this gun Predator, right? And now I can craft it, but first you need to have the blueprint, right? And for the legendary guards, mostly all blueprints are... You get all the blueprints from the wish machine, so you need to play, you need to spend the uh, stardoms here in this shit. So where is my wish machine now? Yeah, it's here. So you need to use this guy, spend these, so Starcom, right? And then you get the rolls from what you want here. So you see here now I got the last reward i got the legendary gun here i got this and that's how you grab the fragments for all these good weapons and good armor guys it's mostly from here you know what i mean and here i played this one yesterday last reward lay legendary gear i got some pants and shit and then you need to do this a lot to be able to get all what you want right and that's the only way how to get these legendaries for now and for some sometimes they drop when you kill bosses or whatever but this is the main way on the wish machine right and then when you get the blueprints go here craft uh, weapons and you craft what you want and then again another thing guys here so now let's say this gun right if i click oh no that's just for uh yeah here you can just craft them but if you press i and go to blueprints here when you are in the menu right then you can see here all what i'm talking about here so let's say this lmg right if i click right click on that i can now add all the blueprints that are in that class because this weapon as you see here operator juggernaut wanderer operator juggernaut so that's all blueprints fragments that you can see here on the right side right so huntsman wanderer blah 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 and then this gun is operator so i need operator these blueprints if i want to now max out this gun you know what i mean because it's level one only so i need to find the same blueprints again again and again to be able to max it out to level 6 because it's legendary then it's level 5 for all the lower ones and more lower as the tier goes down you know what i mean this is like uh, common this is rare blue then this is epic and legendary of course and for this one it's six stars you know what i mean so a lot of blueprints you need if you want to let's say max out this gun to level 5 right but this is how you do it so all the blueprints that you don't want when you disassemble guns that you don't need you will get the fragments guys here then you can click here and see so this one if you don't unlocked means that if they are unlocked then you can use them for uh, upgrading other weapons if you lock them with you press c on the keyboard then you can lock this one and then you will not use it for upgrading then when you if you that's if you want to unlock now this gun let's say that i don't have here and if i have these blueprints you know what i mean i don't want to then use them to upgrade something else but i want to save them right so if i have now these blueprints i would have locked them so i don't use them to upgrade something else but uh, this is how you do it you click right click on the gun and then you see locked i don't have any so unlocked is all this and if i now click these ones but you see now 180 xp i need 1600 so i need lots of fucking blueprints just to add this to the star too you know what i mean 
and then start three, start four, five, and six. So it's a lot of fucking playing, a lot of everything. If you want to max out just one can, guys. But this is how you do it. So all your blueprints are here in categories. You know what I mean? And then that category is going for that weapon. So if I want now this sniper, let's say, so it's a huntsman. You know what I mean? So I need these ones. If I click on this, I can add all this actually. And now I can level up this gun. You know what I mean? It's going to be then it's going to add this second star or whatever this is. It's just gonna raise more all these stats and then on level 5 it's gonna be much more, you know what I mean? But I don't wanna use that now, but this is how you do it guys. So with fragments of the blueprints, that's how you unlock weapons. That's how you upgrade them then, because it's all in categories like this here, right? So first the blueprints, unlock the blueprints, build the gun, then find more blueprints for the same gun or the others in the same category and just max out this. You, you see now this sniper I maxed out to 3. Because I found lots of huntsmen in the start and I just then I was using this sniper a lot and I maxed it out on three because it's only common, you can only max it three stars. And this is now actually maximum damage from this gun, you know what I mean? So it's 1676 fire rate and all this blah blah blah. And now if I build this gun, right, if I go here and I go and craft that uh, sniper, right, so this one, let me see. And now again, when you're crafting, you have the resources, you need to build all the parts, right? And then when you build all these parts, you just fuse it into the gun. And then you have the gun, right? And then you can do everything else, what we talked about. You can press J, you can then calibrate that weapon, change the attributes, again with another blueprints. And that's everything I think now about the weapons, guys. It same, works the same with the armor, it's all here. It's worked the same, so G, craft armor, and then it's everything the same, you know what I mean? Calibration. All works the same, but weapons just the melee weapons just uh, you can just switch these again, and then usually it's only one. Uh, where is that weapon now? So here it's only one mod, and there is no attachments to melee weapons, you know what I mean? There is no mods like no accessories like here, you know. And that's the only thing, and now I think I said everything about the weapons, guys. I showed you my best weapons, so all is on the advanced workbench. You are doing everything here, and if you press I, you can check blueprints here for all your weapons. That's how you build them. You will unlock legendaries on the wish machine, and then you upgrade and build everything here. With the J, you can calibrate. And that's it, guys. So now, again, I just to show another gun, this. I got this one again from the wish machine, of course. I upgraded this one all up to way to 10. So this is the attributes for this gun. I want to change this because it's actually, I don't like this, but... Magazine capacity. Oh, look at this one. This one actually <laughs> will probably go on this one. You know what I mean? Heavy style magazine capacity 75% and then crit rate and crit damage for this gun also. It's going to be very good, but I'm not going to do that now. So, yeah, guys, thank you for watching this video. If you like what you see, consider liking, subscribing, and commenting. And join me in another once human video when we're going to go and do something else.